Hey folks, Joe for Joe's Project here. Thanks for watching this video. Feeling pretty good today. It's a great day to be alive. Sunshine in uh, about 80 something degrees here in South Carolina. It's supposed to get really hot as the week progresses. Anyway, this isn't a weather channel. I was wanting to talk about uh, pedal boards today. And um, I don't know if y'all know, uh, but if you've been subscribed to this channel for a while, I love pedals. I don't have some big extravagant amount of pedals. I mean, I have my fair share, but and you can drop some money in some pedals and effects and stuff like that. It's really cool to have an effects processor if you kind of like that thing. I have those. I've got some more in the back here. Uh, when you're a guitar player, uh, bass player, whatever, mainly a guitar player, you're always you know going after tones, man. Uh, that for me, trying to find that sweet spot of of the perfect tone, which I don't know if that's even possible, but uh, it's fun. It's fun to chase tones, you know. So. I was wanting to go over this board that I put together last night. Uh, I was looking in the back and I had a brand new uh, pedal board that I didn't even know was back there. It's brand new. And I was like, well, I have some extra pedals over here. I could build another board just as a uh, an extra just for fun, you know. And uh, there's another board I have that's in, in a uh, pedal board like case, like a suitcase, you know, you know, like a laptop case. It came with the board. It's back there. So... This makes the fourth board that I have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, how I have things sitting on this board. Um, this board is, uh, I can't remember. This board is uh, made by Ghostfire. So if you look at the very bottom left, you'll see uh, that's the effects processor, okay? And I saw this on an ad on Facebook. And you can see right there, it says Guitar Repair Pro. So I imagine that's the company name, of course, the branding. Um, that's where the tone comes from uh, on this board. That little effects processor cost me, um, it wasn't much, man. It, I think it was like 60 bucks, something like that. And uh, of course, when you see these ads, they're playing it on playing guitar. Through. This sounds amazing. This is incredible i mean they're trying to make a sale and, and it worked for me because i bought it because I'm, I'm a guitar pedal geek and i love stuff like that and i said well if it's that bad i haven't lost a, a ton of money it's pretty limited you know um you got your reverb and different cab uh simulators and it's all right it's a little noisy though and and, and uh, products like that usually are they have kind of a you know, and, and when, especially when you're wearing headphones, you can really hear it. You can hear the bleed through and, and it's very annoying. Um, I don't get that at all with my other setup because the Zoom G1X4 has built in uh, noise gates and noise suppressors and all that. Can't beat that. Now that was 99 bucks. Come on. I mean, 30 more dollars anyway. So let's moving on to the uh, right. We ha have a MXR Dynacop. That's a compressor. I use that. I like to use it as a as a, a little bit of an overdrive, and um, it works really well, and uh, I really like it. Going to the right again is a trusty old Dan Electro Pastrami overdrive. I mean, come on, man. I've had that pedal. I actually have a few of them. Um, I've ordered a couple more over time from Reverb because they're just great overdrive pedals. I mean, I you can probably find them for uh, between $50 and $65 if you look. Um, I've always loved that pedal. It just gives me just the right amount of overdrive and not too much. To me, I just, mm, I really, I like that uh, a lot, especially on extra boards like this. So you go to the right, you got the Boss Chromatic Tuner TU3. Uh, I think I got that earlier this year. Um, that was brand new. Uh, it's like 110 bucks. And uh, the reason I have that, I normally use these, uh, 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 snark tuners i use the snarks all the time uh, i just love the snarks uh but the the chromatic tuner will give you more of a fine uh tuning you know and it's what i really like about it it's a kill switch so if you're if you're doing something and you don't have time to uh turn your volume down all the way on your guitar you just step over and hit that pedal boop, it kills the signal it's um that's really what i have it on there for to tell you the truth and uh, it's it's great for that. <laughs> it's perfect. Going up top above the tuner, you have the uh, TC Electronic Quintessence. That's a harmonizer, okay? I have my uh, marks on there with the Sharpie, so I know exactly where I want it to go, where it works for me. Uh, it does 
does really well. I like that pedal. Um, I wish they kind of made the button a little bit better. It's like when you step on the button, sometimes it'll engage. Uh, sometimes it won't. Most of the time it engages, but then when you want to disengage it, it won't go off. I'm like, what is wrong with this thing? So um, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. To the left of that is a, a noise gate. I found that pedal on Reverb and it was, I think it was like 50 bucks or something brand new. And I said, wow, really? It's a, a very good pedal. I was really shocked at uh, how well it works. It has two, the switch on the top, a uh, little metal toggle switch. It's, uh, you can set it for a uh, soft, uh, you know, noise gate um, compression or, or hard. Uh, it just depends on how much you got going through here uh, to uh, suppress and cut out the noise. So you got two choices there. And then the knob in the middle is the gate. You know, how, how much you want to, the more you turn that knob, the tighter the, uh, the gate, the other, you know what I mean? And it cuts out all the noise. So you don't want to do it too much because then it'll cut you out when you're playing. So you want to have it just on the borderline of, you know, if there's any like, after you get done playing, it'll hit that but you can still play and it won't cut your notes off. You can really tell if it's too much. If you have delay, you won't be able to hear the tra trail of the delay as much. And it's like if there's three repeats, you know, bam, 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 or whatever, it'll just go bam, bam. And then, you know, cause the gate's going to cut it off, you know, and that's what it's designed to do. And then to the left is a, uh, the boss RC three loop station pedal. And, um, uh, I just wanted that on there in case I wanted to mess around with, with try to mess with some loops or build some loops rather. Uh, and it's a cool pedal. I think I paid, you know, I got that new, I think it, uh, from AMS, I think it was like 180 bucks at the time, maybe right at $200. I can't be for sure. Uh, in between there, 180 and 200. And uh, it's perfect for if you've never messed with loops uh, or looping before. Uh, it's a great pedal to, to practice with. And then to the left of that is, is a FS uh, 5U uh, adapter foot switch that I have plugged into the Boss RC3. And what that does is, it, it, see, to cut the loop pedal off, like when you're done playing, uh, you have to step on the pedal twice. You know, and that's really, can be really difficult when you're in the middle of playing something and you got to hit that thing twice. You know, well, with this adapter foot switch, you just step on it once and it cuts it off. Just, boop, cuts everything. And then you step on it again and it starts it right back up. So, makes makes life a lot easier with that pedal so there you go this is the pedal board i put together last night of course i got the power supply on the top uh, to power all these pedals um, again this is just a throw together board with extra pedals i had so i'm hoping because uh, i was i ran it through the you know i ran it through my doll last night just to uh, have some headphones on so i could really hear and eh, it was okay it was all right but i, I had to switch a couple of pedals around I went ahead and moved the loop pedal to the end so there's stereo outs on that pedal. Because once you go stereo into something and you, you hear the difference with that, you never go back to the way you did before because it's just it just opens things. It just sounds so good. Um, but I didn't get that effect last night because I was I was trying something different. So I'm hoping I can get that working on this board. I don't see why it wouldn't. Just uh, run two outs of uh, two cables, rather, two outputs and go into the both inputs on the on the uh, interface, rather, and you should, you should be fine. And um, so let's do that, and let's see if we can get that running, and we'll play with a song, and uh, we can hear what it sounds like. So here we go, man. Stick around. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 